Hey guys, welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast and let's now bring you what was a double delight for the economy. Inflation is on the mend and growth engines are firing once again. So inflation in December eased to 5.72%. This is lower than the reading that we saw last month in November and it is for the second consecutive month. It has come in uh, below the RBI's threshold of 6%. So that's good news. Further, we also saw industrial output in November accelerate by 7%, which is the highest rate of growth that we've seen in five months. So Lata is here to wrap up up all of that macro data for us. Yes, it's a pleasing set of numbers as far as macros are concerned. Uh, uh, inflation number at 5.72, far less than the CNBC TV18 poll. But I think the more important part is now we have the October, November, December numbers. And if you look at the average for the quarter, it works out to 6.1. The Reserve Bank, uh, as recently as December, had forecast that number at 6.6%. So a good half a percentage lower than what the Reserve Bank had forecast in terms of CPI inflation. And uh, uh, it's not just the headline CPI, which is at 5.72. Food inflation also down to 4.19 compared to 4.67 in the previous month. This month also, that is December, the expectation was things would stay there. Uh, the expectation was that vegetables would fall, but cereals and pulses and milk could be higher. The pleasant part is vegetables is much lower than expected. It's about a 12% fall uh, month on month itself. And of course, year on year also a very sharp fall. Plus, the cereals uh, have not gone up as much as we thought. Pulses are a very modest 3% year on year growth and fruit as well, just coming in 2% higher. Uh, all told, the composite picture in food is extremely pleasing. The only fly in the ointment is the core inflation coming in at 6.1%. This is, of course, gold prices are higher and services prices generally a bit higher. Uh, that perhaps is the only thing that will hold back the Reserve Bank. But there is now a general expectation that at best there is one rate hike or perhaps a pause in the month of February. So expect some uh, positivity in the bond markets. The other positive is actually the IIP number. The poll was expecting only about 2.7%. There were other polls at 3 and 4%, but no one was prepared for a 7.1% rise in the industrial output for November. It's been an all-round good performance with electricity coming in 12.7% higher. The core sector gave us a different picture. Manufacturing coming in 6% higher. Uh, mining coming in over 9% higher. And if you looked at the use-based classification, consumer non-durables, which has been sulking for a better part, coming in almost 9% higher year on year. Consumer durables as well over 5% higher. Capital goods 20% higher. So it's been an all-round positive performance on the industrial output. Absolutely good news on macros, inflation lower than expected, growth better than expected. All right, very good news coming in there on the macro front. But with that, let's move on and talk about some key earnings that came through yesterday. IT heavyweights Infosys as well as HCL Tech posted their earnings. And for Infosys, we actually saw, um, you know, a good showing this time around. So Rima is here to break down the numbers for us. Rima.